hope you're all doing so so well welcome to the iceland vlog we've literally only just got to our hotel we landed at about 12 o'clock got the bus from the airport to the bus terminal and we went with fly bus i think it was called and it was really really good and it was really quick about 40 minutes and then it was a 20 minute walk from the bus terminal our room is insane i'm really happy with it we are staying in the hilton and it is so beautiful the location is amazing i'll give you a little room tour i mean we've literally been here all of five minutes it's already a state we've got so many fun things booked we were meant to have the northern lights tour tonight but that actually got cancelled because of the weather it's meant to be a little bit cloudy and they said no visibility that has been rescheduled for tomorrow so we actually don't really have anything on today which is quite nice we're just going to walk around Reykjavik. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that on. I've, I've heard it so many times today as well because we've been on the coach, we've been on the airplane and I still can't get it right. Tomorrow we've got a whale watching excursion which is completely Rob's thing. Although they do say it's like one of the top 10 things to do if you're in Iceland. But he really wants to do a whale watching excursion so we're going to do that. We've got to be there bright and early at half nine tomorrow so it's going to be absolutely freezing. And then we've got Northern Lights in the evening. We're doing the Golden Circle tour the following day and then the Blue Lagoon to finish it off. For some reason, Rob just loves to take pictures on my phone even though he has a perfectly good phone himself but look at this view it's just so peaceful here the water is just so still and clear and perfect it's so chilled here all snowy on the bank over there it's actually not that cold either is it so here's the outside this is the bakery we went to Broad and Co so we've got two hot chocolates and two cinnamon rolls. It smells absolutely insane in there. It did cost us £17, but wow. It doesn't matter where we are, we always see how to find ourselves in an Italian. We're in this really cute little restaurant, and I think we're gonna go for pizza. I'm gonna do pepperoni, and what are you going for? Cheese, mushroom, and we are actually on a whale watching excursion this morning. It's bright and early, it's about half past eight. We're just wrapping up warm and putting some layers on. These are like my Adenola tops. You know, oh god, I can't get my thumb through. You know these Adenola tops? I'm just wearing these leggings and then putting a unitard over and then a jumper and we seem to be okay. Like it's the nights that get quite cold. Like last night I literally could have done with bad clava. My face was so cold, like I couldn't move it. I felt like I had Botox. For dinner last night, we ended up, I'll put on the screen the name of the place, I can't really remember. We had these amazing pizzas it was really really lovely actually and it was just so cozy in there like they had little cute pegs for your coats we've both fallen in love with iceland it's about half eight now we've got to be on the boat like the boat goes of course past nine so we're in a little bit of a rush of course i'm gonna bring you along with me yeah i'm gonna start wrapping up now because it's gonna be freezing but yeah i'll bring you on the boat <laughs> hopefully i don't throw you overboard okay so this is today's full ootd we've got h&m earmuffs zara puffer SLA the label fleece, Adenola top, long sleeve top and leggings. Also got my <laughs> Aritzia unitard underneath. And then just my normal shoes. I've just got my new bags on today because I think that should be okay. But why is it not in here now? And he's got the ticket. Here we are. This is the one we're getting on. It's so beautiful this morning. I'm not quite sure on this, I feel like I'm going to go flying down in a minute. Cheers. Because they easily fly you away. The best way to avoid that is just to put them back inside, don't you? So we've just nipped back before going to lunch and I thought I'd give you a little room tour as the ladies been and made the bed. Such high ceilings, it's lovely. The only thing is, is that the... You get two single duvets, which is a bit annoying, but it's a really comfy bed. We've got a little balcony out there. I mean, all my stuff is just scattered around the room. And then the bathroom, where's the light? So cute. Nice sink, towels, the shower's really lovely. I just love how high all the ceilings are here. All the tiles and the gold, I just love the gold. This is literally like, if I was designing my shower, this is what I would have. And then it's got a little separate toilet room. Although it's really dark in here. But if you come in and shut the door, you're like in pitch black. So I'm not sure about that. Yes, yeah, so we just come back to the room, sort my hair out because I look so windswept. 
And now we're off out. I think we're gonna go to Tommy's Burger Joint for some burgers. Here we are, Tommy's Burger Joint. So cute. It's literally just off the harbour. Just where we are now. So cute. It is snowing outside, so we've come to our little hotel spa, and it is so cute here. And it's empty. We've literally got the whole place to ourselves. Look, I can't wait to jump in there. So cute. And we've got, what have we got in here? Sauna. Oh, it's so Yesterday we came in, it was so busy in here, so yeah. it's quite nice we've got it to ourselves. Just getting ready now for the evening, it's a lovely time in the spa. So nice down there, we're so lucky to have that in our hotel. But we're gonna go out and get some dinner, and then we're seeing the Northern Lights tonight. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed because I don't wanna have to go again tomorrow night. If you don't see them, they do give you the opportunity to go to the next day, but just gone in with some Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. My favourite liner at the moment. And then just my Melanesia over the top. I'm wrapping up so warm today. I just know it's going to be so cold. We get picked up at half nine and we don't get back till one o'clock in the morning. Today is the last day before I'm going to slick my hair back in a bun. So, gone for a hat today. Classics are a puffer. Are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Are we taking a bag to put some water in? Um. No, just put something in our pocket then, do you think? I just think, what if we get hungry? Or like thirsty? No? Okay, well, we have been figure that out myself then, haven't I? Cheers. Look at the pink sky, it's so beautiful tonight. It's lovely, and the sky looks really clear, ready for the northern lights. I just can't get over that view. It's literally like a postcard. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, wow. Oh my God, so we've gone to the fish and chip shop and I've actually ended up getting a chicken burger. Oh, we've got the fish and chips. Traditional. Yeah. Traditional, classic, hat too. But yeah, it's just a really cute little fish and chip bar. Although I'm not sure about the um, skin fish or vinegar first, obviously. It's so... One of the Cheers. <coughs> Cheers. Good morning everyone. It is the next day, day three, and we are on our golden circle tour today, but I thought we could get ready together a little bit. I've just put my way matte pomade in, and then I've just stuck my eyebrows down with got to be glued. I haven't been doing like crazy makeup. I've just been doing a little bit of cream bronzer. This is the pink honey one. A little bit of cream bronzer, a little bit of concealer, blush, eyebrows, and then I'm kind of good to go. So yeah, today we have our golden circle tour, which I'm really excited about. Yesterday we went to see the Northern Lights and unfortunately we didn't actually see them. I did actually catch a picture of a shooting star, which was 100% worth going, even if we didn't see the Northern Lights. It's a shame because on the way down there, he was like, oh, you know, this is like perfect conditions. And he kind of bigged it up and then we got there and we didn't see anything. But in the photos, there is like a greeny background. He said that the background color was there, but not the full Northern Lights. We didn't get back till like two o'clock in the morning. And we were just standing out there looking up at the stars. The stars were just insane. Like I've never seen anything like it. It was crazy. And people in the evenings really dress up. And I just didn't bring any dress up clothes. There was a lady the other day, she was running across the road, she looked amazing. She was in these like thigh high gold boots. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you are coming, don't just pack for warm. I wish I just bought a skims dress just so that I had something because they're so light and easy to pack. I'm gonna break in my moon boots today. I haven't really had the perfect chance to wear them because around the city, everyone just wears normal shoes. What are we going in with next? Bit of Charlotte Tilbs. 
I love this. It's one of my favourite blushes. I haven't tried their matte ones though, but I just... The only reason I love this blush so much is because of how glowy it is. Going for a super clean look, although I wish I'd bought my... Got to be glued because this away matte pomade is just not sticking my hair down. You know I love the Huda Powder, but I've actually gone back to my Laura Mercier for a little bit. I think for more of a softer look, it is the way forward. This has been a real test of my makeup products because I have literally been going out so early, coming back at like lunchtime, topping it up and then back out. And then last night I didn't take my makeup off till 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's been a real test of wear time. And I think it comes down to this Laura Mercier powder. It's really, really done the job. My goal is to not go on my phone today at all. Just to be chilled and zen. Oh my God, I don't know if I told you about the whale watching. I don't know if we've caught up about that. Okay, so basically we went on the boat and we'd read a review before about people getting seasick. Now, I don't really get seasick. Like I have been on boats, but there was one time when I was in Lanzarote, I think it was, and I was sick over the side of a pedlo. Now, obviously that is childhood trauma that stays with you. Like I have always then been like, oh, what if I get seasick if I go on here because I was sick on a pedlo once when I was a kid. I was like, oh, you know, I'll be fine. We did do a similar excursion in Tenerife actually. We went to go dolphin watching and I was fine. So I was like, okay, it's fine, absolutely fine. You know, I've grown out a bit, we've grown up now. Grown up Chloe is not sick on boats, right? So this is just Mac Give Me Sun, my favorite bronzer ever. I'll never stray from this bronzer. They even had free anti-sickness tablets on the boat, which is obviously should have been an indication to say that this is just gonna be a little bit more than the boat that I went on in Tenerife. Anyway, so there I am, just blissfully unaware. We sit down, I even have a hot chocolate. I'm chilled, I am chilling out. I'm so relaxed, I'm ready to see some humpback whales and some dolphins and just live my best life. I'm really excited for Rob because obviously this was something that Rob wanted to do. Although I was happy to go and it was a really nice trip. Like this was Rob's thing, so I was just like, yay. You know, we're here, like excited. Anyway, and I would say we're probably going for about 45 minutes at this point. And I was like, oh my God, I am so ill. Like I literally feel like I could throw up any moment. Then I was like, literally slumped out, head resting on something. I was taking deep breaths. I just had to keep taking deep breaths. And then in the end, I did take an anti-cyclist tablet, but it was too late. By the time I started to feel better, we were already on our way home, which was a little bit annoying. Just going in with my Dior blush. Learn from my mistake. If you do, just go, just take the tablet because you don't know how your body's gonna react. So just go on there and take the tablet and just enjoy the ride because it takes half an hour to kick in. So by the time it kicked in, we were already on the way home. Rob obviously thought I was being so dramatic and I promise I wasn't. Like I know I can be a bit dramatic, but this was serious. I bought this in the airport. This is the Maybelline Sky High and I don't love it as much as my other one. Where's my other one? I don't love it as much as my Lash Sensational, but we're going with it. <sighs> Great, look at that. I literally always do that, it's so annoying. I didn't vlog the airport, did I? So basically, we were having breakfast in Weatherspoons. The queue was so long. And really, we only left it two hours before our flight to get there. And like, by the time you check in, go through security, and you have to board half an hour before your flight takes off, don't you? So really, we only had like an hour. By the time we finished, I was like, oh my God, I don't have any deodorant. So I need to go into Boots. And I managed to grab some deodorant and this mascara, which was the two things I needed anyway. Now we're running to our flight. We literally have less than 10 minutes before the gate closes. Like we've been boarding for ages. And Rob is like full airport dad mode. Like he is sprinting ahead. He's getting stressed. He's really annoyed at me because obviously I had to go and pick up my mascara and my deodorant. But I was like, you know, essentials. Like where am I going to find a Maybelline Sky High in Iceland? I need to get it now. We get to our gate, which was like the last gate. You know, EasyJet, if you fly EasyJet, you know you're always going to be the furthest gate from the terminal. And so we get to what we think is our gate. We literally get in the queue. Considering when we left the terminal, we had 10 minutes to get to our gate. We're now queuing to go to Prague. I don't know why. I literally just got in a queue. Do you know like typical Brit? I literally saw a queue and thought, oh, that must be for us. So we got in it. Anyway, she scans our boarding pass and goes, no, this isn't going to Reykjavik. This is going to Prague. Luckily, the gate was literally across. You know when you go in and there's two different gates? We just went left instead of right. We literally made it with three minutes to spare. And then final step, Charlotte Tilbes lip liner always. I love this one. This is Pillow Talk. Yeah, so this is Iceland day two slash three. Look, 
on our way to the Golden Circle tour. Who's getting the window seat? I literally never get the window seat. Whenever we come away, no, I. Yeah, so that was only because I sat in first. And you're still on the way there. And you're still learning. Right, so Rob has this thing. He gets annoyed when I lean on him. But I'm like, let me sit at the window seat then, and then I'll lean on the window. Maybe you didn't lean oh. on the window. That's a problem. I did. Yeah, oh, and you. then I dropped my phone. Oh wow. Look at that with the mountains in the background. Wow. That's beautiful. So yeah, then yesterday I dropped my phone. I fell asleep, but obviously I fell asleep with my hand. And I just heard it drop, and I was like, oh, "That's my phone." Luckily, it was only just behind me, but I did have fears of it just sliding all around the coach and me being on my hands and knees trying to get it. It looks like a beautiful day today, so I'm really excited. Get some cute pics in my moon bits. This is called Gluga weather, which is trans which translates to window weather, which means it looks great when you look out the window from the inside uh, but it's really cold and, and uh, well Icelandic so we've arrived at our first stop we're at the crater wow. oh I can't see over yet wow. so beautiful and we're getting on the angles we've come all the way to the bottom now and it's all iced over so cool. Apparently when it's not icy it's all like light blue, so it's a little bit of a shame, but look at that. Right, we're at our next stop. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we're at our next stop. I can't even breathe. It is so windy, but this is so beautiful. I literally am getting wind my face. It's so cold, I'm actually getting brain freeze. really cute pics. It was just so windy, like my face was burning. But she gets, oh, she took a landscape. Oh, here we go. Cute. Rob took a few of me, but they were just so windy. What about up here? Because we did go a bit higher. Look at that. So beautiful. It's just so <laughs> windy, like I know I keep saying it, but it's that I've never known the wind like that. Wow. We're back on our bus. Just having a little flip through our pickies of the day. Oh my god, what is it? Yeah. Fox. Oh, that's perfect. Fawn. Whiskers. Yeah, and it's little nose. Like, where his teeth was, his nose. What does the inside of him look like? Where would you? What would you wear this around your neck then? I have no idea. It's obviously done with that. Or maybe you, Joe, you lay it out on the floor. Oh, and his legs. Oh. <laughs> That is horrific. We're on a hunt for some magnets. It's a bit of a tradition these days. Oh my god, all the Christmas steps. Oh, no, he's so cute. Oh, I feel like I should get one. Not him. No, not him. Him, look. Oh, look. Should we get one? We've obviously got one from New York, no? Do you not think they're cute? I can't need him. Have you seen this one? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, and it's got the whale flag. Okay. Yeah, should we go with that one? I love these little people though, it's like me and you. What are these things? They're so cute. <laughs> oh yeah. So funny. We're at the geysers or the geysers. I don't, what is it, geyser? I think it's geyser. Geyser. We're at the geysers. Um, from the Iceland like, word. Oh, sorry, from, from the, the Iceland verb to gush. To gush. Here they are. The guide said that they erupt every five minutes and to stand away from the way the wind is blowing, otherwise, you get a shower, apparently. So, keeping well away. Away. 
a thing with water though, I could just watch it. Yeah. It's like a bit like fire. Right, let's keep going to the big one. starting to come down now but so beautiful here literally probably the best place we've been but yeah off back to our coach now over there rob's managed to rebook the northern lights for tonight so we're gonna head back there and fingers crossed for tonight because i don't think i can do another night of disappointment but oh last time seeing that view guys we're finally back from our golden circle tour i've literally just got straight into bed i'm still in all of my clothes but i just needed to lie down it is what is the time eight o'clock we left the house or we left the hotel at 10 this morning we've been out for eight hours oh no 10 hours that is that's not even eight hours that's 10 hours christ it's been a long long day but so so worth it that last place the national park was just amazing it was so beautiful. The guy on the bus was saying that, you know, we went to the waterfall. I just, I couldn't, I could hardly film there because it was so windy. Um, but he said that it was minus nine. And because of the winds, it felt like minus 18. And that is no exaggeration. It was so, so cold. The Golden Circle Tour would definitely recommend it. We're going back to see the Northern Lights tonight, which really after the day we've had, I could do without it, but we obviously want to give ourselves every opportunity to see them as you know we are in iceland so fingers crossed for the northern lights tonight i'm gonna take all my makeup off tonight so that when we get home i can literally just brush my teeth and get into bed because that took me ages yesterday like faffing about taking it off just gonna chill out for a bit i've just seen that um imogen has posted her gender reveal so i'm gonna sit and watch that probably just in the shower then i'm gonna get in the shower Tomorrow is Blue Lagoon Day, which I'm so excited for. I just need a chill day. Yeah, I'm probably going to close the vlog off for tonight unless we see some Northern Lights and then I'll put another clip in after this. But I am one tired Chloe Beth tonight and I shall see you in the morning. Oh, it's so beautiful today because the sun's shining. We've got such lovely weather. Back at our favourite little bakery, Gordon Home. Definitely go. Oh, they've got some little different things today. Mm. Thank you. Can I have a seat? No, that's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning. It is the. It's our last morning in Iceland, and we just picked up our cinnamon rolls from Gordon Co. No hot chocolate though and that was really good last time but we're just walking up to the rainbow because we haven't seen it yet but last night we did see the northern lights i um didn't take my camera because they the camera doesn't really pick them up but i'll put some pictures in here god we're walking uphill so i'm a little bit out of breath but yeah we're gonna go to the rainbow take some pics go down to the, the shore where all the mountains are eat my little breakfast yeah, we've all checked out the room so it's a bit sad but i'm excited for the blue lagoon that's the last thing on our list and then we're back to the airport oh last time seeing this big church we still don't really know what it's called it's probably got a icelandic name that we can't pronounce anyway but it's so beautiful what's going in Ooh. oh i thought you were going to do a reveal no okay. Me. We found the rainbow. And then if we turn around, you've got the tall building up there. So cute. I'm just um, trying my cinnamon roll on the rainbow. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Always feel something. So 
kind of chilled and relaxed. We're sat in the little restaurant bit waiting for our transfer. And we can see out in the Blue Lagoon, it's so beautiful. It's actually quite handy doing it on the last day. They've got places for you to store your case. Like we literally paid five pounds to put our case for the day. And now we feel all relaxed, all ready to get on our flight. Let me give you a little, show you what I can see. So beautiful. I did try and get some on my phone. I took in a waterproof phone case which I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below and it worked really well. And loads of other people were doing the same. And look how beautiful. So can't believe we're going home. Actually gutted. We've got half an hour till our bus comes. So water and literally my last segment of chocolate orange. It's lasting me well. This is lasting me on all the day trips. So just watch, just chilling out, looking out. So beautiful.